following video is rated Mad Slick. It contains all the shit that you see on the screen right now, plus some other shit that you don't see on the screen right now. So if you don't like it, we don't want you here. So get the fuck out. Peace, bitches. What's going on, everybody? It's Mad Slick, bringing you another video. Uh, what I got for you today is a little bit of World of Warcraft. Um, it's something different Sundays, so like I said my last one, I'll bring you some World of Warcraft. Uh, what we got going on here is my character select screen. I have currently seven max level characters, and I've got an eighth one that's three levels off. Um, I have a bad habit of leveling alts. Um, I guess it's primarily to do because I don't have a whole lot of time to play the game, so I don't raid because you know, that takes hours upon hours every time you do it. So I don't raid. Um, so I just do what I can that's fun to me, and what's fun to me sometimes is leveling. So... Um, what we got here is Cameron. Uh, she's a hunter, primarily ranged DPS or damage dealer, if you want to call them that. Um, they can tame animals, you know, cats, bears, uh, things like that. If they're specced into it, they can tame exotic animals such as rhinos and corehounds and spirit beasts and chimeras and craziness. Um, she's my pretty much uh, main all-around character. She's got decent gear for both uh, PVE player versus environment and PVP player versus player. Uh, player versus environment means, you know, instancing, uh, questing, things like that. Um, so she's my all-around main. Uh, next we have Camshell, my druid. Druids are shapeshifters. They have various forms that they can go in. All druids are able to shapeshift into cat, bear, uh, bird, and uh, seal. Um, cat is uh, primarily melee uh, DPS or damage. Um, bear is primarily tank. Um, Bird is flight form, which allows you to fly around, and seal is underwater form, which allows you to swim faster underwater and not have to worry about breathing. Um, different specs. Uh, Druids of the only class have four specializations. Um, they have technically four. Um, they have restoration, which is what she is right now, which means she can heal and all that kind of stuff. They also restorations also get the ability to change into a tree of life, which is like an ent that augments their healing abilities. Um, if you go balance, you can become a moonkin or boomkin as you're called, or a thunder chicken if you want to joke about it. Um, primarily spell damage ranged, um, you know, the giant chicken that shoots energy at you and kills you. Um, if you go feral, this is where the fourth spec comes into place because feral is kind of two specs in one. You can either be spec in a cat or bear. Uh, like I said earlier, cat is DPS, bear is tank. Um, so that's kind of where they get the four specs from. Uh, next we have Holier Than You, my paladin. It's a standard paladin in any kind of RPG. You know, you could either be a protection paladin, where what she is right now, or you, you tank, you get all the bad guys to attack you and not the other people in your party. You absorb damage, block damage, parry damage, dodge damage, you know, have a lot of health, high armor, things like that. Um, you could also be Retribution, which is a melee DPS spec. You know, she has a two-handed mace that she beats the shit out of things with. Or you can be a Holy Paladin, which is a healer, which I've never had a Holy Paladin. I don't really like the way they heal, so it just never sat well with me. As you can see, she's doing blocking animations there. Um, next, we have Avery Nick, my shaman. Um, right now, he's Enhancement, which is their melee DPS uh, specialization. Um, can augment his weapons to increase damage, uh, add different uh, on-attack damage abilities, things like that. Um, shamans also have a elemental tree <clears throat> or spec, which allows them to cast uh, spells, you know, range damage, stuff like that. Um, they can also be restoration, which allows them to heal. They have pretty cool heals. I actually like shaman heals myself. I uh, prefer it to heal as a shaman, which he has his secondary spec as restoration. Um, a lot of people, some people don't like it. Uh, shamans also get totems. Um, they have earth, wind, fire, and water totems. Each totem has a specific focus. So if you drop a uh, whatever water totem, water-based totem, it's going to heal or restore mana. Um, <clears throat> fire is going to be more destructive. Earth is going to be more protective, and wind is going to augment your abilities more. So that's shamans. Uh, next we have unholier than you, my death knight. Uh, currently she's a dual wield frost uh, DPS spec, which means she's a beast. Um, she doesn't have the greatest gear, but she really puts out the damage um, in that spec. She can also tank in blood spec. Uh, Death Knight tank using a two-handed weapon to parry, dodge, or uh, use their mastery ability, which creates a shield around them that absorbs all incoming physical damage up to a certain point. Um, 
you never really do all three. You either do parry and dodge or you do mastery. So she's currently a mastery tank, which I prefer. Other people prefer parry and dodge. Neither one is better than the other. Um, so that's Death Knights. Uh, here's my warrior. Um, she's not a class that I, not a character that I play very often. She's got Titan's Grip, which allows her to dual wield two-handed weapons. So each of those weapons you see are actually two-handed weapons. Titan's Grip, Fury Warrior is the only class in the game that can carry more than one two-handed weapon um, in their hands at a time. Um, she also has an arm spec, which she switches to one two-handed weapon and has high burst damage and pretty good a uh, area of effect damage. Uh, so multiple target. Um, next we have Krynos, my warlock. He's currently demonology spec, that's why he has that dude standing in the back. That's his fell guard, Shafaran. Um, you don't get to name him. That's you know they're demons that you enslave, so that's the name that they come with. Um, warlocks can also be affliction spec, which allows them to focus on their damage over time abilities, curses, diseases, and whatnot. It's just curses, really. Curses, curses, and I think there's a, a couple fire damage abilities. Um, which cause damage over time, um, has some nuke spells, stuff like that. All warlocks can summon uh, certain demons, but demonology is the only one that can summon the Felguard. Um, destruction uh, is primarily nuke, so you cast big fireballs and burn your burn your enemies to the ground, turn them into ashes, things like that. And demonology is primarily focused around the demons that you summon in the slave. Uh, next we have my rogue, Latira, who is going to be my next 85. I'm currently leveling her up. Rogues put poisons on their weapons, which can poison you for damage over time or an instant amount of damage when they hit you. Slow your walking speed, uh, reduce the amount of healing you receive, and uh, increase the amount of time it takes to cast spell. Um, rogues also stealth. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention about druids is their cat form is essentially a, a lesser powerful rogue form. Not, I don't want to say lesser powerful, but not quite as functional rogue, rogue form. Um, so, uh, cat druids can stealth. Uh, rogues can stealth. And they hide in the shadows. They're hard to see. Um, they can attack out of stealth. Um, basically, rogues are like a ninja. I mean, that's the easiest way to describe it. Um, they're not, but that's the easiest way to describe it. Um, rogues are pretty fun. Um, pretty badass. You know, you can kind of be a dick with them. So, that's rogues. Um, Pick and save is my bank. You don't really need a bank character in this game anymore, but I prefer to do all my uh, financial stuff on one character to keep all the money in one place and easy to keep track of. Uh, so that's what he's there for. Probably never level him. I could if I wanted to, but you know, who knows? I probably never will. Uh, Rallo Tubbs is just there to hold the name until Miss Pandaria comes out when I make a Pandaren monk and name him Rallo Tubbs. Right now he's a gnome, so a little midget dude. Uh, I know midget is not PC, but who gives a shit? Um... If I go to a different realm so I can make another character, um, as you can see, this is just where I've been making characters while I'm filming this. Um, create a new character. You know, you got all the races here. You know, alliance, get human, dwarf, night elf, gnome, draenei, worgen. Uh, horde gets orc, undead, tauren, troll, blood elf, and goblin. And when you select a race, it shows you which classes it could be down here. You got male and female versions of all of them. Different customization features. You can put the name here. You hit accept, and you get one of these. So that's World of Warcraft. Um, if you liked what you saw, give me a like and a favorite. Uh, drop me a comment uh, letting me know if you want to see more, um, maybe specifically what you want to see. Um, I do almost everything in the game except for raiding because I don't have time for it. Um, so I do five-man dungeons. I do battlegrounds. I do questing um the next video i do if i don't have any specific requests um even if i do i might put those onto the video after that but the next video i do about world of warcraft will be a little bit more in depth on uh character so i'll probably do um a video per character where i log in and i show you what their abilities are you know show you cool things about them maybe do a quest or a dungeon or something like that um who knows but um, that'll be the next video for World of Warcraft. But uh, as for the next Something Different Sundays, it's probably either going to be Killing Floor or DC Universe Online. Or if I get enough requests, um, maybe World of Warcraft. Um, so that's it. Um, I guess uh, if you have any questions or whatever, drop me a comment. Give me a like and a fave. Subscribe. Uh, whatever. Otherwise, too bad, so sad. Fuck you and peace out, bitches. Kiosk Entertainment.